Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm really excited to come to you this evening to show you what's been going on with Race Space Digital. Um, earlier this week, all of you should have gotten an email. Uh, it went out as a blanket email. It has all of your invitation codes in it. So your invitation codes are what you're gonna want to give to other race teams or drivers to allow them to pre-enroll. And that invitation code, why it's key, is it ties that driver or team to you and you're going to receive a 10% override on any cards that they sell forever. So that's really important. And um, I, as I have told everybody, I'm going to give the teams uh, June and July for you guys to be the first ones to invite teams in before corporately we actually start to market the program. So um, you know, pre-enrollment is only good for the first 150 drivers. So what we've done is we've put together a pre-enrollment, kind of a little demo site so that you can share that with them. It has a couple of different videos, one that's going to open up um, as soon as they go to the site, kind of tell them what's going on. And then there's another welcome video on the, um, on the marketplace that kind of explains the marketplace, tells them, you know, what it's going to cost them to get involved and, um, you know, how much money they can make. So uh, just so we're, we're straight on this, um, if, they, if they register with your invite code in pre-enrollment, that driver or team is tied to you, okay? And they're going to get to um, enroll for $199 instead of the normal $249. And that's a yearly fee. So it's not like it's every card they do. So um, the, the video explains that. It tells them that they get like 3,400 cards for, um, again, if they sign up early in pre-enrollment, it's 199 for a year. If they don't, then it's 249 if they wait after the first 150 drivers. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully I do this without any glitches here. And I just kind of want to give you um, a little glimpse at what we've put together. So the website is called Race Face Digital. And the email that um, is accompanying this video, there is a link to the site. Again, as I told you, the first thing that pops up is a little welcome video for me, kind of explaining to them what they're actually looking at. I'm not going to show that to you, but you, I would suggest that you watch that video um, just so you've got an idea of really what's going on. So keep in mind, again, this is a demo pre-enrollment site. So when the, when the actual site goes up, it will look a lot different than what you're currently seeing right now. Now, the marketplace and the pit collection um, will look somewhat similar, and there are samples of all of the cards um, that are now in here and you're going to be blown. I feel like you're going to be blown away at what you're going to see. So again, you know, our market is quarter midget racers, bandoleros, um, micro sprint, anything I would say, you know, late models, super late models. Again, our race based drivers that are running ARCA and Xfinity are going to be involved. So I guess at this point in time, there's not a lot of limitations on really who you can bring into it. Um, just keep in mind that the more people that we have in the marketplace, the more cards that everybody's going to sell. And there's going to be lots of things going on in the marketplace uh, where people can come in and buy, sell, and trade cards. So, you know, make sure that you understand, you know, what is Race Face Digital? What is this all about? And then there's another button here uh, that, that's the same welcome video but a lot of spam blockers will pop, will block those pop-up boxes like we do on your websites with latest news. So we wanted to make sure to have another button down here. And it talks about how they can be involved. So their involvement will definitely be a team member. And there's, um, there's buttons all over the site, you know, click here to pre-enroll. So if they click on that, a pre-enrollment form will pop up It asks for the name of the team, the driver's name, their address, all of this information is required, phone number, their email, and then the invitation code right here. This is where they would put in that three letter invitation code that I sent you earlier in the week. It's real simple. 
If you're Cassidy Hines Racing, it's CHR. If you're uh, Carter Whalen Racing, it's CWR. If you're Cole Denton Racing, it's CDR. So you guys get the, get the idea of how that works. We hope that they'll click on the yes button for our monthly newsletter that will go out to them, keeping them abreast of what's going to go on here over the next two or three months. And then, you know, kind of the racing series that they're um, involved in, and then a short little 100 words or less, please give us some information about the driver. Now, why this is important is because during normal enrollment, they will have to do the same thing. So when we get a little bit further into this video, you'll see um, when they get into the marketplace where the details are at, and that's where this information is going to end up at. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then it comes down and it talks about, you know, what is a team member? They're all going to enroll as team members. We are not bringing in crew members. Crew member is nothing but a VIP fan, a fan that wants more than just to be able to buy and collect cards. But they want to be, um, you know, they want to be able to buy the victory lane cards. They want to be able to do the throwback limited edition cards that we're going to do. They want to have first rights on all of the all of the drops. Now, a drop is what's called when we actually put a card in the marketplace for sale. It's called a drop. So they'll get notifications if they sign up to be a crew member. Crew members are important because crew members are the ones that this could be your fans, your closest fans, your friends, your family. Um, and they're gonna be the ones that are, uh, again, that can help you share to get the word out. So crew members are very, very important. And we'll be talking about them uh, more as we get closer um, to the time where we start bringing in crew members and fan member. Now, what's a fan member? Fan member is basically somebody, it's a free position. You can come in, and you can, you can buy and collect digital cards. Um, you can't sell them. And you also do not, you, you do not have the privilege as that crew member would to be able to buy limited edition and special edition cards. And, and again, the crew membership is only $9.95 a month. So it's not like we're asking them to make a major investment. Uh, then there's this schedule of events. And they can kind of read down through here. You guys can. And this talks about how we're going to be moving through the process and how all of this is going to come together. They'll scroll down to the bottom. There'll be three examples of, of some of the new cards that we put up. Again, uh, there'll be five digital cards minted. They'll get three standard cards, uh, which is this one over here of Casey Klein. And um, they'll get a thousand of each of them. So that's 3,000 cards. They'll get one premier card, which is the one of Connor Mozak. And then one elite card, which is the one that you see here of Cassidy. And um, the ability to upload limited edition victory lane cards into their hauler. So once they become a crew member, if they win a race, they're going to be able to participate in the victory lane cards as well. But with that being said, we're going to go back up to the top here and we're going to click on the marketplace. Now, again, this is just a sample of what this is going to look like. So as you see here, um, we've got 3D elites. We've got victory lane, standard, premieres. It, it shows the driver's name, the type of card that it is, the list price for it, the date that it was listed or the drop date. Now, all of them are showing 9-1 because, again, that's our targeted date, September 1st, to make all of this go live. Um, and, and that date will, will have uh, depend upon a lot on how fast we can get to those 150 drivers. So if everybody goes out and gets 10 drivers and, and you know, lock yourself in so that you get paid their override, we're going to get to the 150 drivers very, very quickly. And, and you're going to be glad that you did that because that there, there truly is a way for you to be able to make you know, some sizable income. If you're, if you want to get aggressive and go out and sign up 30 or 40 drivers, share that, then, you know, it could be a big revenue stream for you. So if you come in here and um, you want to click on the view details. So uh, let's go back up here. It shows the price of this particular car. Um, 3D elites are going to sell for $40, shows the list date and the edition that's actually for sale. 
So this one is 27 of 100. It's only 100, you know, elite cards. If they click on, of course, you can't collect it now because we're not live. But if they view the details, you know, the car, it's going to go here. It's going to talk about some of, you know, Cassidy's age, her hometown, the series that she runs in, the team, some highlights, the drop date. And again, this is number 27 of 100. If, if the site was live, they'd be able to collect, collect it now and be able to actually purchase the car. I'm really excited to be able to show you this car. This thing is really cool. Now, I hope you guys think that's as cool as I do. I, I think it's really cool. So every 3D Elite card will look like that and have the, the driver's picture in there. It will do the same thing that you've just seen here. So if we go back to the marketplace, um, we're going to go over here to Cole Denton and we're going to click on view details of Coles. And again, it, the same thing as far as the details, driver's name, hometown, series, team, just short information. And remember when I told you that section of the pre-enrollment form, um, that's where we're going to pull this information from. So um, if, there are, if there are young quarter midget driver, kind of like Landon Cox is, well, he hasn't had time to really create a whole bunch of highlights. So for him, we would just put about the driver. So we'll, we'll work through those issues as we go. But let's take a look at what this victory lane card looks like. As you can tell, we've put music to them all. We're very um, trying to kind of think what type of music is, and it, it just really seemed to make sense that this stomp music um, was really what it's all about. Here's a standard card. Now, again, the standard cards are the ones that are going to be minted in a thousand each, and each driver gets three standard cards, so a thousand of each one of them. And let's take a look and see what that standard card is going to look like. Now, it's not going to be as as cool as the Victory Lane and the 3D Elite, but that's why this card's $10. So all the cards will have, the, you know, of course it's gonna have the driver's name on it. And then the back of it will tell that it's a standard and the year that it was minted along with the race based digital card. So uh, you get the idea of that. The, uh, the premier card is basically kind of like the, the, uh, the standard card. It's got a little bit more of a 3D effect to it if you kind of watch it. Let's take a look at uh, Hudson Boulder's um, premier card. Actually, that's showing the wrong one. It says premium, but it will say premier and it will have music to it as well. My bad for not getting that updated. So we go back to the marketplace and then you can scroll down here and you can see a bunch of the different cards that's come in. We have a 3D card of Carter. Anthony's got a premier card in here. Joey East got a 3D. Sheldon's got a standard. Again, all of these are for examples only. They're not for sale. When a card gets sold out, like we just put Jesse's, you know, um, 3D elite card sold out because there's only a hundred of them. I mean, when we release this, his cards will probably sell out in, in a day because I think people will be anxious for them and we're going to promote these this whole thing on our TV show. So lots of exposure. Let's go over real quick for the pit collection. We're almost done here. Um, my pit collection is the same thing. So this is my personal collection of cards. This is how their cards will be displayed. When the, when the actual real site is up, this section in here will have a tremendous um, racing theme to it because this is where people are going to go uh, when they want to, to actually view their collection or share their collection with people. And then, of course, again, this is going to be available on a mobile device as well. Um, now, the secret to this is getting people to come back and 
uh, visit the the uh, the digital market, um, you know, multiple times. I mean, I'm hoping people kind of check in there every single day because if you if you'll notice when I click on, let's say that I click on, let's look at one of them that we didn't do. Let's say the premier the premier card for Anthony Alfredo. So I, I click on that and let's just say that for some reason, I wanna sell that card. Well, all I've gotta do is click on list on the marketplace, it will pop up and then that particular fan or the person that collected that card can actually put the amount that they wanna sell it for. Now, the good news with that is that people can find deals. So when we reach 150 drivers, this is where it gets interesting. When we reach 150 drivers, at that point, we will start to have what we call a five card pack. I'm not sure what the price is going to be on that five card pack. I'm going to say it's probably going to be around $30, which is a deal compared to what you're buying cards for individually. But you never know who's in that card pack. Okay. So, for people that are old like me, it's kind of like when we bought baseball cards. You went down, you paid a quarter, and you got a pack of four or five cards. You never knew who was inside there. So as you start to do this collection, you may end up because you bought, let's say you bought 20 five-card packs as a collector. Well, maybe you have three or four of these Anthony Alfredo uh, Premier cards, and you may want to sell one and list it on the marketplace. And you're just wanting to kind of get rid of it. Not that we want to get rid of Anthony, but you get the idea. And somebody might put that card on there that normally costs, you know, $15 and put it on there for five bucks. Well, now people are curious about what other cards are really good deals. So it gives them a reason to keep coming back to the marketplace. Now, one of the other things that we're working on, this is this is things that we're that we're still working on is the fact that. We want to have some like interactive games, like a spinning wheel where you can come in and you can actually, um, if you come in and spin the wheel on a day, you might win a card or you might win a race face digital t-shirt or some other different types of swag. So there will be multiple reasons on why people want to come back and check in on the marketplace, you know, on a daily, if not, you know, if not a daily basis, a weekly basis. So lots of fun. The whole idea of this is to have fun, to get the kids collecting these cards so that when they get to the races, they can buy, you know, each other's cards, or maybe they're going to be able to trade each other's cards. The trading side of it is something that we still have to work out the details on. I, I'm, I'm very sure that we're going to be able to do that. But again, we have between now and the time that we get to 150 drivers to be able to figure out exactly how we're going to do that. But I just wanted to give everyone a little glimpse of what the marketplace looked like. If they click on memberships, you can see the different levels of memberships and what each membership stands for um, in this area. So um, that's about it. I appreciate you guys giving me some of your time. Again, if any of you are racing this weekend, we got a major heat wave going across the country, please stay hydrated. Make sure you got Pedialyte in your trailers. And, um, you know, we'll look forward to uh, getting some feedback, please. Once you get this email with the video in it and the link to the site, go through it, cruise through it. Give me your feedback. I, I, I want to hear what you guys think, um, especially about the price of the cards. That's something that we're still, you know, discussing. Um, I think that because we're such a knit group of, of racers, I think the fact that, you know, that a team is going to make 25% of the sales of all of their cards. So if they sell all their cards that are produced for that $199 if they pre-enroll or the $249 if they don't, you know, it's $10,000 for them. And then again, if you were the team that invited them in, you get an override on that at 10%. So again, you do four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 teams, um, especially some of you that are in the quarter midget, legend cars, bandolero world. Um, I think when you show these around, I think people are gonna wanna get involved. Um, it's a great thing for the sponsors. We are, we are already thinking about 
ways that we could, like if a sponsor said, hey, we've got 300 employees, we'd like to give all of our employees a, a free digital card, um, a, like a, a real good deal on being able to do that. Because again, part of this whole thing is not, a, not just about you guys being able to make money, but it's, it's a way to get more exposure. I mean, how many other drivers are gonna be able to go to their sponsors and say, hey, look at what I'm doing, this is cool. And, uh, and, and, and we're also working on a, um, a hero card that is going to be digital. That's gonna be really cool. So um, again, thank you all for being on this call tonight. I look forward to seeing all of you on Tuesday night because Tuesday night's where we're gonna all get together again, be able to talk about this. And um, so again, everybody's racing this weekend. Good luck. And I will see you all on Tuesday night.